So today I want to show you how I create a um, light leak effect in digital photos using Lightroom. Hey guys, Hermit here from Photo Insomnia and um, today I was having a little bit of trouble. Couldn't decide what I'm going to share with you today uh, in terms of uh, tricks or tips or ideas. Anyway, that's my problem. Um, thanks again for tuning into this video. Um, I hope you're subscribed. If you're not, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you like this video, again, give it a thumbs up. Um, um, this is something that in the film days when they were developing the film in the labs, um, if accidentally they're not careful, they expose the film um, to additional light while developing, um, then it would have these kind of highlighted areas around the image. So that's what I want to show you how you can create that in a digital image using Lightroom. So let's get started. Well, let's take this image for example. Um, I want to have um, some overexposed area here, uh, maybe up here, and we'll see. Well, you can be as you can be as creative as you want. So um, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the radial filter. So I'm going to start by clicking into the radial filter. Um, I'm going to zero these out just by double clicking on them. I don't want anything um, different except I'm going to crank up the temperature. I want it to be warm. So I'm going to stretch and draw the effect here. What I'm going to do is now increase the exposure because we want that overexposed look because that's where the light has hit on the film. And I'm going to crank up the uh, temperature all the way up and I'm just gonna pull this um, narrow this down a little bit maybe drag this over a bit here to this area gonna increase the saturation make it more yellowish gonna increase the overexposure see starting to burn the image now that's cool um, so that we'll leave that there and we'll come back to fine-tuning it again And I'm gonna create another one up here and this one will be a little bit more slimmer. It's not gonna be as um, Wide, okay, so once I've dragged it again, this is up to your own creative style what shape you want it to take um, You can create as many different shapes as you like and then I'm gonna drag this temperature across Okay, here as well, I'm gonna make it a little bit more pinkish and reddish. There we go, see it starts to become overexposed, kind of light leak look. Um, I'm gonna give this a little bit more exposure, pull that up all the way, and increase the saturation as well. Now, just concentrate that, pull that down, a bit more on the leaves. Maybe here, yeah, around this area. Okay. Um, so the other thing I used also do is sometimes to intensify the effect, I'll simply go and duplicate it on top of itself. See how the effect now gets stronger. Um, here as well, if you want to make the effect stronger, duplicate it. There we go. Wow, that's really now. Looks like the light has really affected the image. You can also narrow it down like I did now. So if I narrow that down, what you get is kind of a graduated effect where the previous filter, and let's just move this down a tiny bit. So you can see that's the previous filter which was much wider. And this is a much narrower focusing light here. So that's pretty much it. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna leave that there or I can save it as a preset. I'm going to save this as a preset. I'm going to put it in my light leak presets. Um, so I'm going to call this light leak 2. Okay. And just going to choose the radial filter. Of course, the process version needs to be ticked. Uh, but I just want the radial filter uh, applied. That's all. That's the only effect is included in this preset. So there we go, that's the second one. Uh, let's go to the third image, and here I wanna blow this up on a corner like this. So again, I'm gonna use the radial filter. 
uh, and just gonna drag that up like so okay so it's more a circle shape this time again pull the um, temperature slider to the yellow tint slider all the way to the purple um, saturation a bit more and I'm gonna increase the exposure as well now this is a bit more subtle effect I'm going to duplicate this and I want this also on the other corner where it should be more prominent okay there we go and I'm gonna pull this up so I'm just gonna distort the shapes I don't want this to be a circle but more a um, oval shape and again you can vary the effect by varying some of the parameters only um, go this right away there we go um, and you could also use a different filter which is a gradient filter so how I would use a gradient would be let's um, let's put it here I'm going to remove the radial delete I'm going to use the gradient filter now to drag that across I don't want to spread it so just the gradient um, length should be short and then just drag the effect on here so now it's applying all over this side this edge pull that up pull up the temperature start increasing the exposure and you can see you can feel it that it's giving you that light leak effect here we go so you can see the image before and after now it looks like that's been um, exposed or has been uh, affected the negative during the process and that's why the photo looks like this again I'm gonna save this for later so I'm gonna create this as a preset I call this light leak number three I should select graduated filter here because in this fil uh, filter or in this image I have used a radial and a graduated filter so I need to use both update that and now I'll go back here apply the light leak and now you have that effect again you can go back into the filters and fine-tune that effect by adjusting and dragging the filter so let's say you wanted it kind of over the face of the subject like so all right there you go i uh, hope you like this little uh, tutorial on how to create uh, light leak in your digital photos using lightroom alone um, if you like this video again give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed be sure to subscribe to my channel uh, i'll be producing a couple of videos every week thanks for tuning in um, i'll see you in the next video Bye bye